Hello, sport fan. This is Stephen Hill with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering rewriting the portal's history. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, ever since I posted a story about two, three weeks ago, I've been getting slack on social media from all different kinds of ends. It doesn't matter what's going on. I'm getting slandered, and I hear people saying, Oh, you're just taking up for Dion. Oh, you're just doing this. Oh, you're just doing that. If you looked at some of my videos, you would see where I chastised Dion on certain things, and then I liked certain things from Dion. I don't think that everything he does is great. I don't think everything he does is well. Just like last week, I chastised him when he talked about the NFL draft. Uh, he was ashamed of it. And I told him it was an actual business. But you got to keep in mind, we're going to go a little in-depth just so you can understand what I was talking about. When I said he did a good job cleaning house, I meant that. He did a good job cleaning house. The The Colorado Buffalo team was 1-11 last year. It was 1-11. And I'm going to read you some stats. I'm going to read you some stats just before we get into this. Just before we get into this. And just to, just to give you a sense of what's real versus what's fake. From a standpoint of everything that we've been dealing with in college football, you got to ask yourself, how many teams how many teams dance in a portal? Every team dances in a portal. Did you know Arizona State had 29 players leave the portal? Via the portal. Ole Miss, 29. Arkansas, 27. University of Cal, 26. Oregon, 26. Texas A&M, 26. Colorado happens to have 55. 1 and 11 the year before. Out of the 55 players that went into the portal, are you aware that only one of these players was given a scholarship to a Power 5 conference? Only one. Did you see any of that tape from last year? Did you watch any of the games? Did you see any of the players from the offensive linemen, the, the, the quarterbacks to the running backs, wide receivers, safeties, tackles, anything? What company are you going to play for or work for? Put horrid garbage out and expect to still have a job. With the NFL new rules, they are allowing coaches to essentially clean house, to do what they have to do. So you have to understand what he's coming in to do is changing the, the, the trajectory of his players, changing the talent. And we're arguing over practice film. Where's your game film from last year? Where's your game film? Oh, it's terrible film. Got it. That's crazy. So what you got to realize is Deion Sanders is trying to evoke change. Not only in his locker room, but around the, the city, around the college, the university, if you will. And yes, when he came there, it was brass. A lot of college football coaches don't like Deion because he tells the truth. He does the same thing that they do, except he says it. He tells you I'm cutting you. He tells you, hey, look, player, you ain't good enough to play here. When you see all these five-star, four-star, and three-star, highly ranked players coming over there, it's competition. These guys want to get drafted. They know that there's going to be scouts there, pro scouts, NFL scouts, all kind of people there. So with that being said, you have to keep in mind, Dion is doing what he needs to. We don't have some some type of history lesson that we can go to to see who did it before Dion because Dion is the person that did it before. He's the only person we have to compare to to this magnitude of change. So you got to keep in mind, any improvement is better than 1-11. If they win two games next year, that's improvement from 1-11. If he wins four games, five games, six games, that's an improvement from 1-11. You really thought one of the 11 was going to get you a scholarship and keep you on the team? Nah, my friend. Open your eyes. Everybody doesn't get celebration trophies here or participation trophies. Get in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me what you think about Dion in Colorado. Leave your comments in the comment section. Be brutally honest. And check out my uh, new videos coming up as well on Sports Choice Plus, all right? We'll see you in the next video.